Do you need an ADAS technician or diagnostics technician? We're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. There is a big difference between an ADAS technician and a diagnostics technician because ADAS calibrations are one level of skill. Diagnosing, programming, wire repair, pin replacement, and repairing vehicle electronics are another level. So ask yourself, what level of service do I want to offer customers? Do I just want to calibrate ADAS features or do I want to be able to diagnose and repair vehicle electronics? Do I even want to fight this battle as it is hard enough these days finding a qualified body technician, let alone one versed in diagnostics? What is the availability of technicians in your market to service 30 or more brands? Or do you want to avoid this headache and partner with a remote provider? Other variables a shop must consider include vehicle manufacturer requirements, ADAS aftermarket tool manufacturers, shop certified programs, types of vehicles and type of damage encountered, technician capability and support. But there's also another factor, time. You can train on procedures and the basics of an operation, but it takes time to develop and learn how to troubleshoot through issues. There are new tools that are making it easier to do procedures that are for the most part straightforward. But when something goes wrong, it's the troubleshooting or diagnostic skills experience that's valuable. And that comes with experience working in the field and that takes time. But time is a scarce commodity these days, which again is why working with a remote diagnostic provider can help you tap into the training and expertise you need without the time and investment on your side. Again, what do you need? Understand that an auto glass technician who has been properly trained to do calibrations after a windshield replacement is not an ADAS technician. They're a forward-facing camera specialist, as that is what their skill level is. If they can do programming, blind spot, ACC, and rear camera, and can remove bumper covers to align brackets and modules along with surround view system, then they may be considered an ADAS technician. Partnering with a remote provider can give you access to both those skill sets. In the collision world, the vehicle is smashed, wires are cut and crushed, and shock damage to components is common. Being able to read a wire schematic and chasing down DTC faults with a DVOM and flowchart are the skills of an electronics diagnostic technician. The ability to look up, research, and repair the wires and harnesses correctly is a skill your technicians don't necessarily have to have if you're tapped into a remote diagnostic provider. When the service information is not followed correctly, problems will occur. Many times, calibrations fail because of measurements for targets being wrong, a faulty environment with light and shadows, incorrect chassis information in the scan tool or software being used, the scan tool not being able to access that vehicle or the electronic control modules correctly, battery voltage not maintained during calibration with a battery maintainer, or trying to work with modified vehicles. Technician error is still the number one reason ADAS calibrations fail. All the more reason to have access to a team of ASC certified technicians via a remote provider to reduce the likelihood of user error. With the confidence and ability to use the equipment correctly, when failures occur, and they will, you'll need to troubleshoot why the calibration failed. And a remote provider can help with that too. By looking at DTCs, you start looking for communication errors. Many times, this will lead to a sensor unplug. In many cases, a parking assist sensor is in the wrong location or upside down on a bumper cover. The reality is that to be successful at calibrations, you need proper software and tooling to access the vehicle, the ability and ethics to follow the instructions, and problem solving skills. What if it's not a simple fix when calibrations fail? What if there are still damaged components or wiring? This is where the transfer from an ADAS technician to a diagnostic technician or electronics technician occurs. The ability to understand electricity and computer components, as well as wiring, harness routing, and repair and replacement come into play. Maybe even the ability to pull the dash and more. Whether it's an ADAS technician or diagnostics technician, there is a lot of skill involved. Good luck finding that in a depressed labor market. The solution might just be partnering with a remote diagnostics provider and gaining access to remote brand specialist technicians who can perform a full scan, thorough diagnostics, and ADAS calibrations. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.